Even a long distance shot. That time it was just a smooth finish from the box. Here comes the in swinging corner. Whipped in. Headed out for Sims. Birch keeps it alive. A scoring summary. You see Fred backtracking out there near midfield, and then he doesn't manage to keep running with Beckerman, and he pays for it. No, absolutely, exactly. Neymar needs to come over quickly. Peralta needs to squeeze on centrally, and Beckerman really, really makes him pay for defensive mistake. Not much since that goal was scored. Now here comes Kovalenko again. Looking for a speed, a lot of dangerous ball bouncing on this turf. The volley deflected, and it goes in. 2-0. Kovalenko picks up his second assist, and you talked about the turf, Tom, and certainly that had a, an impact on the way that ball bounced to him, and uh, maybe something Peralta wasn't ready for. I, I mean, Peralta's got attacked, and we called it the first ball. Do not allow balls to bounce, and then maybe Carvalho, after that long ball, needs to come up initially and maybe intercept that ball. Though it's just inside the 80-yard box, just squirts underneath him. Okay, I visit the one in Wheaton. A couple early goals, 12th minute and 19th minute. Looking for the third one. Back to Beckerman, and it's in the back of the net. That was an excellent strike set up by Finley. The second goal for Beckerman, and certainly Carvalho had no chance on that one. It was crushed and smashed off the back post. Well, it starts really Tony with poor organization and set piece, you know. Ned Borges makes a late run. Nobody marks him. As you can see here, he's able to head the ball across the goal mouth. Ends up with Finley right there. Too easy. You know, six goals in, in three away games, and you haven't scored a goal. Yeah. You know? Uh, or, or sorry, you've, you've given up uh, six goals in league play, five in away games, and here's one. Four play there, and it's a finish from Finley. A miscommunication there between Peralta and Carvalho. And I think definitely this is a game to throw out the window in terms of the table this one, Thomas. Yeah, this hasn't been a good, uh, good day for, for Peralta. To me, I think Peralta needs to play with another central defender to get a long, aimlessly ball on the back. And the lack of urgency there by Peralta to shield the ball be stronger. And then, yeah, Carvalho gets to go to Gomez length. Yeah, you can only feel bad for Carvalho, and I mean, really. Not a good situation for D.C. tonight, and that's all she wrote. Mercifully, the game ends. It's 4-0 for Real Salt Lake. And in some ways, they're back to the drawing board for Tommy Stone and D.C. United. But as you said, this should be an easy game to just put out of their memory.